certain life events aren't solely of a physical nature. Some have their origins in the spiritual realm, therefore it's crucial to acknowledge the root cause of those challenges you encounter, so you don't address them without understanding. You can use the spray if you identify the issue you're grappling with is more than physical. So let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before you armed with the power of your word and the authority given to me through Christ. I stand firm recognizing that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. With the authority and power of Jesus, I stand against these evil spirits and I command them to leave. I approach you in the authority of Jesus' name, Father, who has given me the authority to cast out demons, as it's written in Mark 16, 17. I rebuke and command every evil spirit, every demonic force and every work of darkness that may be afflicting me or those around me to leave and never return. I take authority over all forms of spiritual oppression and I declare them defeated by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, my loved ones and my surroundings, creating a hedge of protection. I ask for your Holy Spirit to fill and cleanse every place affected by these evil forces, bringing peace and healing. I submit myself to you, dear Lord Jesus, and I resist the devil. I ask for your divine strength to help me in the spiritual battle as commanded in James 4, 7. I renounce any sinful ties or influences that may have allowed evil spirits to have a foothold in my life. I exact my authority in the name of Jesus and order every evil spirit causing distress to me and my loved ones to depart. I assert that they have no presence or influence in our lives. I ask for your strength and protection, Father. Help us to stand firm in our faith and resist the enemy's influence. Help us and fill us with the Holy Spirit and surround us with your divine shield. In the name of Jesus, Father, I stand before you acknowledging your faithfulness and your promise. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, that says to protect and watch over us against the evil one. I choose to remain resolute in your word. On the authority of your name, I rebuke and command every evil spirit that may be troubling me or my loved ones to leave in the name of Jesus. I ask for your divine protection and guidance in the spiritual battle. Strengthen me with your power and grace, Lord. Help me to remain steadfast and in my faith and to trust in your unfailing faithfulness. Almighty God, I come before you in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus, claiming the promises of Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2. And I declare that I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I thank you, Lord, for being my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. And I renounce and rebuke any evil spirit that may be present in my life, my home, or my surroundings. By the authority of Jesus, I command all evil spirits to depart from me and my loved ones. I cover myself and loved ones with the blood of Jesus, including over every area of our lives. And I ask for your divine protection. I proclaim that no weapon formed against us prospers. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment is already condemned. Dear Lord, I ask for your angels to encamp around us and deliver us from all evil. I praise and worship you, for you are my deliverer and my shield. And in the powerful name of Jesus, I claim the authority and promise of Luke 10, 19, which says, I have been given authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm me. I declare by the authority of Jesus Christ, I am equipped to overcome and drive out every evil spirit that may be affecting my work and business. I rebuke every evil presence 
evil schema and every hindrance that stands against the success and prosperity of my endeavors. I ask for your divine protection over my work and business. Fill every corner with your light and love, pushing out all darkness and negativity. Let your angels surround my work and business, guarding it from any and evil influence. Father, grant me the discernment to recognize any ungodly influences or negative forces in my work and business. Give me wisdom to make sound decisions and choices that align with your will. I trust in your promise, Lord, that nothing will harm me. I believe with your power and authority, all evil spirits will be cast out and my work and business will thrive according to your divine plan. Dear Father, I declare in 1 John 4, 4, Greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. I assume control over every evil spirit and unclean influence that may be affecting and afflicting me. I affirm the spirits of darkness, fear or oppression hold no sway over me because I am indwelt by the most powerful Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command all evil spirits to flee from my life as I renounce in every foothold they may have and reject their influence. I am covered by the blood of Jesus and I claim the victory that comes through his sacrifice on the cross. I put on the whole armor of God, taking up the shield of faith as described in Ephesians 6.16. I pray that this shield of faith will extinguish every fairy dart of the evil one that has aimed at me. I acknowledge that faith in you is my shield and I trust in your protection. I declare that my faith in you is strong and unwavering. In the name of Jesus, I repeat you can command every evil spirit and negative influence to leave my life, my mind and my home. I break every chain and stronghold they must have had over our lives and our loved ones and I claim the victory that is ours through Christ. And in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I come before you to address and cast out any evil spirit that may be affecting our life. And I declare James 2, 19, I believe that there is one God, even the demons believe that and shudder. I recognize that even demons acknowledge your authority and I stand on that truth. I rebuke and command every evil spirit that are oppressing me to leave in the name of Jesus. I bind and break the power of darkness that may be trying to influence my thoughts, emotions and actions. I declare that I am a child of God covered by the blood of Jesus and I have authority over every evil force. Let your light shine in every area of my life dispelling any darkness. I thank you for your love and power that drives out evil. Almighty Father, I thank you for the victory that is assured through your name. Jesus, I trust in your promises and your authority. May your light and love prevail in every area of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Life is brimming with unforeseen occurrences. When we rise each morning, we're uncertain about what lies ahead. It's vital to offer a prayer for protection because only the Lord comprehends the future and can safeguard us from harm. You can use this prayer whenever you wish to seek the Lord's protection. So let's pray. In the midst of life's uncertainty and the shadows that sometimes cloud our journey, I draw near to you, my shepherd. As I reflect the profound words of Psalm 23 verse 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You, dear Lord, are my refuge and my fortress, the stronghold to which I can run for safety. As I reflect in the words of the psalmist, I find solace in the knowledge that in you, I discover unwavering protection. Your love and grace are my shield, guarding me from the perils that surround me, shielding me from the harm's way. And this assurance, I find my peace knowing that your presence is my greatest protection. And Father, 
in the name of Jesus, I humbly come before your presence, acknowledging Psalm 31 verse 4, which expresses the assurance of your protection and divine covering. As I join through the complexities of life, I am aware of the snares and adversities that may lay in my path. Just as the psalmist besieged, keep me free from the trap that is set for me. I implore you, Lord, to watch over me and deliver me from the snares of the enemy that seeks to entangle my steps. Protect me from the schemes of the adversary, from the entanglements of sin, and from the leers of temptation. Grant me discernment to recognize the traps set before me and the wisdom to navigate through them on scores. Your guidance and wisdom are my constant companions on this journey, and I rely on your divine light to lead me through the darkness. I am back on the journey of life, knowing that I'm not alone. Joshua 1.9 reassures me to be strong and courageous, not to be afraid, not to be discouraged, for you, dear Lord, will be with me forever and where I go. I seek your protection from the snares and pitfalls that may lie in my path. Guard me against the schemes of the enemy. Shield me from harm and protect me from the trials and tribulations that this world may bring. Your love is my armor and your grace is my defense. I am secure in the knowledge that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, for you are my shield. Help me to be strong and courageous in the face of adversity, knowing that you are my constant companion and protection. In your presence, I find the courage to press forward, no matter the obstacles that may arise. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up my family before you. I am grateful for the assurance in Psalm 91 verse 10, which declares, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. I hold on to you and onto this promise with unwavering faith, knowing that in your divine covering, my family is safe and secure. I beseech you to extend your divine protection over my family in every aspect of our lives. Protect them from physical harm, illnesses and accidents. Guard them against the trials and tribulations of this world. Children them from any disaster that may threaten their well-being. I pray for your protection over our home, which is a sanctuary for our family. May no harm, whether physical or spiritual, come near our dwelling place. Let the love and harmony within our family be a reflection of your divine grace and protection. I ask that you surround our home with your presence, creating an environment of peace and security. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for your divine covering over our relationships within the family. Strengthen the bonds of love, respect and understanding. Guard us against discord and strife. May my family be a beacon of your love and unity in a world often divided. In your presence, we find the power of forgiveness, reconciliation and growing together. And I ask in this sacred moment, as I come before you with my heart filled with gratitude and reverence, in the name of Jesus, I seek your divine protection and covering, knowing that your promises are steadfast refuge, as Proverbs 2, 8 assures me. He guards the parts of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. I ask that you surround me with your wisdom and understanding, shielding me from harm, evil and adversity. Let your guidance and protection be a constant presence in my life, leading me on the path of righteousness. I pray for your protection over the minds and hearts of each of my family members. Shield them from negative influences and harmful thoughts. Protect them from the snares of the temptation and the deceptions of the enemies. Grant them discernment to recognize and reject anything that is not of you. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us in righteousness. 
As Psalm 9 verses 9 to 10 proclaim, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. And so, gracious Father, I beseech you to extend your divine protection and guidance over my work and business ventures. Protect them from any harm or calamity that may threaten their prosperity. Let your discernment guide my decision so that I may conduct my work and business affairs with integrity and righteousness. Shield them from unrighteous influences and unethical practices. Grant me the wisdom to make decisions that honor you and benefit all those involved. As I entrust my work and business to you, I know that I'm not alone. I take solace in your promise to be a refuge for the oppressed and a stronghold in times of trouble. When challenges and difficulties arise, I find my refuge in your unwavering presence. I trust that you will guide me through the storms and to provide me with the strength to face any obstacle. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, I find solace in the assurance that you, dear Father, are faithful and you will strengthen and protect me from the evil one. I specifically lift up the concerns of health and safety. I ask for your protection from illnesses that threaten my well-being. In the world where diseases and infections can spread rapidly, I lean on your promise to strengthen and shield me. I ask for your divine intervention to keep my loved ones and an eye healthy and immune from harm. We implore you, Lord, to watch over us and protect us. We ask you, Lord, to watch over us and protect us from accidents and mishaps which can lead to physical, emotional and spiritual turmoil. Guard our steps, whether we are on the road, at work or at home. Keep us safe from harm's way and ensure our well-being. Though the righteous may face many troubles, as Psalm 34 verse 19 assures us, the righteous person may have troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. I take refuge in the knowledge that you, faithful Father, are my deliverer, and you will rescue me from every trial and tribulation. I rejoice in the promise of Psalm 5 verse 11, but let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. I find joy in your protection and presence. And so, Lord and Heavenly Father, I present this prayer as an affirmation of my belief and confidence in you. I express gratitude for your safeguarding, your affection and your constant existence in my life. May your divine shelter persist in guiding me from danger and may your illumination lead my way in the precious and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. In the time of King Jehoshaphat, the armies of the Moabites, Ammonites and some of the Munites declared a war against him. This filled him with great fear. Ever he turned to the Lord in prayer, urging everyone around him to observe a fast. The ever faithful God responded to his plea, granting him victory by causing his enemies to start fighting among themselves. I want you to understand that he can work similarly for you. All you need to do is approach him in prayer. You can use this prayer whenever you see his intervention. So let's pray. According to the word of God in Psalm 55 verse 9, My Lord, make my enemies confused. Stop them from doing what they want to do. Everywhere that I look in the city and I see that they do cruel things. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that in times when I see violence and strife surrounding my family and I, I turn to your divine intervention. In the words of the psalmist, I pray to you, dear Lord, to confuse the enemy's tongues and to disrupt his cruel plans. Grant me the strength and wisdom to discern his schemes and the courage to stand against him. 
as a reminder of your divine intervention in Exodus chapter 23 verse 25 says you will cause all the nations that I meet to be afraid all the people who attack me will become confused you will cause all my enemies to turn round and run away from me and so dear fervently father in the name of Jesus just as you confuse the nations before the Israelites I ask that your divine terror goes before me causing confusion among my adversaries who stand against my progress at work and business grant me the reassurance of your presence in the face of all opposition I pray for your presence to be with me in my workplace help me to approach my tasks with diligence integrity and a heart full of gratitude grant me the strength to overcome challenges and the creativity to excel in my responsibilities may my work be a reflection of your goodness and light and lord i trust that you are with me like a mighty warrior according to the book of jeremiah 20 verse 11 but the lord is with me like a mighty warrior so my persecutors will stumble and not prevail they will fail and be thoroughly disgraced their dishonor would never be forgotten i firmly believe that lord and i say father you are with me as a formidable champion may those who oppose me falter and not find success let their endeavors be in vain and may they endure lasting shame their dishonor never fading from memory psalm 35 verse 4 says cause the people who want to kill me to become ashamed chase away the people who want to hurt me so that they become confused dear father i seek the same for my marriage may the plots of my enemies to confuse and harm me to turn back in dismay may their schemes be dismantled and may their efforts be thwarted by your divine hand in the name of jesus and may the love between my partner and i be a reflection of your love selfless and enduring help us to communicate openly and honestly to forgive and show grace when needed and to grow in unity as a couple dear father i ask that you let the enemy's wicked intentions be exposed and their efforts rendered fruitless for it says in psalm 40 verse 14 chase away the people who want to kill me cause them to become ashamed and confused chase away the people who want to hurt me so that they run away in shame call upon you father to bring disgrace and shame upon those who seek to cause confusion and harm in my life as it is proclaimed in psalm 68 verse 1 O lord arise and may your enemies be scattered may your foes flee before you and so I call upon you in the name of Jesus, O Lord, to arise. May the adversaries who seek to sow confusion and chaos in the lives of my children be scattered and flee. I ask for your blessings upon their education, friendships, and future endeavors. May they walk in the path of righteousness and be a light to those around them. God, grant them the strength to stand firm in their faith and to live according to your word. Jazz 7 verse 22 speaks of the confusion that you, O Lord, brought upon the Midianites, making them turn on each other with their own swords. Father, I pray for confusion and division among my enemies just as it was among the Midianites. May my adversaries turn against each other, their unity shattered by your mighty hand. I call upon your pillar of fire and cloud to descend upon the enemy's camp like you did with Egyptians confound their plans and hinder their progress causing them to stumble and lose their faith dear father deuteronomy 7:23 assures me but you lord my god will put my enemies under my power you will cause them to become completely confused so that i can destroy them and in the same way in the name of jesus lord i implore your divine intervention in my life Give my adversaries over to confusion until the schemes are destroyed. Let their wicked plans be turned against them and may their own words bring about their fall as they devise schemes and sow discard. Let their efforts unravel before them. May their actions be exposed to the light of truth and may their tongues be silenced. Grant me victory over all 
who oppose me, knowing that no one will be able to withstand your power. I know there is victory in your presence, Father, as you threw the Philistines in panic in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10. I pray for a similar panic and confusion to descend upon my adversaries, where they come disoriented and their unity disintegrates. I pray for a thunderous presence that throws my enemies into panic. Let them be routed and defeated before me. Grant me victory over all who oppose your purpose and plans for my life as I stand on your promises of victory, knowing that no adversary can prevail against your power and might. 1 Samuel chapter 14 verse 15 and verses 19 to 20 say, Also recount of the time when you, Lord, brought confusion upon the enemy. And in the same vein, may my enemies be filled with fear and disarray, causing them to turn against each other. I thank you for the wisdom and guidance found in your word. I trust in your protection and the divine confusion you brought upon the enemy's strategies. I stand on the promises of your scripture and I am assured that the confusion sown by the enemy is replaced by your clarity and peace. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Each person has his or her own expectation when they enter the business they currently operate, and this includes you. However, it appears you haven't been able to achieve what you initially hoped for. Instead, you've encountered a series of challenges that seem to follow a repetitive pattern, hindering your business from making progress. So this prayer is intended for those moments when you find yourself in such challenging situations. So let's pray this prayer together in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heavy heart, acknowledging the negative patterns in my business, seeking your divine intervention. Your word in Proverbs 16 verse 3 reminds me to commit my plans to you and they will be established. Lord, I surrender my business endeavors into your hands. I confess the mistakes and shortcomings that have led to these negative patterns. Please forgive my missteps and grant me the wisdom to learn from them. Help me to align my business decisions with your will, committing every plan and strategy to your guidance. Grant me discernment to recognize and break free from negative patterns. Fill my heart with courage to embrace new positive approaches in my business dealings. I trust in your promise, Lord, that when I commit my ways to you, you will establish them. May my business be a testament to your grace and wisdom, bringing glory to your name. Thank you for your patience and faithfulness towards me. And Lord, I ask that you empower me to walk in a ways leading my business to success and prosperity under your divine guidance. Precious Father, I come before you with a burdened heart, acknowledging the negative patterns of stagnation in my business as reflected in Psalm 90 verse 17. Lord, I surrender these challenges to you and seek your divine intervention. Grant me your wisdom and discernment to break free from these detrimental patterns. Help me to see new opportunities, make wise decisions and cultivate a positive and thriving environment in my life. Bless the works of my hands, dear Lord, and establish the efforts of my business. Let your favor rest upon every endeavor, guiding me away from negativity and into a future filled with success and prosperity. I trust in your promises. And Lord, I claim the transformation of my business for your glory. I come before you recognizing also the negative patterns of rise and fall that have plagued my business. Your promise in Jeremiah 33 verse 3 reassures me that when I call to you, you will answer and show me great and unsearchable things that I do not know. Our Lord, I bring these challenges before you and seek your divine intervention. I humbly ask for your divine insight and wisdom to break free from these destructive patterns. Open my eyes to innovative solutions and guide my decisions so my business may flourish according to your divine plan. 
I surrender my fears and uncertainties to your boundless knowledge, trusting that you will lead me away from negativity and into a future filled with abundance and success. Empower me through your Holy Spirit to make decisions aligned with your will, paving the way for a prosperous and fruitful business. I trust in your unfailing guidance, Lord, and I place my business in your capable hands. And dear Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I know I'm coming with a burdened heart by the negative patterns of disappointment in my business. But your word in Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 remind me to forget the former things and not dwell on the past, for you are doing a new thing. I trust in your promise, Lord, and I bring these challenges before your throne of grace. I surrender the weight of past failures and disappointments to you, Lord. I choose to let go of the negative patterns that have held my business captive. I trust in your divine plan and purpose for my business, believing that you are orchestrating something new and extraordinary. Fill me with hope and anticipation for the future, knowing that your ways are higher than my ways. Grant me the wisdom to recognize and seize the new opportunities you are placing before me. Strengthen my faith, Lord, and guide my steps in the direction of positive change and transformation. I place my business into your loving hands, trusting in your ability to bring about a fresh start and a brighter tomorrow. Almighty Father, I come before you again and again, burdened by the negative patterns of worry and anxiety, even as my business is nascent. As I reflect on Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, I acknowledge my anxieties and uncertainties, and I lay them before you. I surrender the worries and struggles of my business into your hand. Trusting in your perfect plan, I cast aside the negative patterns that have helped me captive and choose to trust in your wisdom and guidance. Grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. Count my restless heart and fill my mind with clarity and discernment. Help me to navigate through challenges with faith and confidence knowing that you are in control. I place my business and all it concerns into your loving care. Guide me towards positive changes and break the cycle of negativity. Thank you for your promise of peace and I choose to rest in your unfailing love and grace. And dear Father, in the face of this pattern of bad decision making affecting my business, I come before you with a heart filled with faith and resolve. Your word in Psalm 46 verse 10 reassures me to be still and know that you are God, while 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 reminds me that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. Lord, I hold on to these premises as I pray for your intervention. I surrender my anxieties and fears to you, dear Lord. Replace my apprehension with the power of your spirit, guiding me with wisdom and discernment. Help me to be still in your presence, trusting in your perfect plan for my life and my business. Grant me the strength to break free from negative patterns of bad decision making on the courage to embrace positive change, empower me with a sound mind, enabling me to make wise decisions and innovative choices for my business. Fill my heart with your love, casting out fear and instilling confidence in your provision and guidance. I come before you with a heart, O oh Lord, burdened with the negative patterns of rise and fall in my business. Romans 8 31 assures me that if you are for me, who can be against me? I claim this promise and bring my business challenges before you. I acknowledge my dependence on your divine guidance and protection. I trust in your unwavering support. Help me to break free from the cycle of success followed by setback. Strengthen my business with your wisdom, creativity and resilience. I surrender my fears and uncertainties to you, trusting in your sovereign plan for my business. Empower me with the strength to overcome obstacles and navigate challenges. And grant me the insight to make wise decisions and the perseverance to endure through difficult times. I also ask that, Lord, the patterns that are affecting my business, like a leak in pocket, draining away resources and hope, be stopped. As I stand in your promise in Jeremiah 29 11, 
It brings me comfort, reminding me that you have plans to prosper me and not to harm me. Plans to give me hope and future. And so, Lord, I personalize this premise. As I lift up my business to you, I surrender the leaking pockets of my business, the areas where resources, time, and effort seem to be slipping away without yield. Father, I trust in your divine plan and provision. Replace my anxiety with your peace and my uncertainty with your assurance. Strengthen me to make wise decisions, to plug my leads and to move forward in confidence. Guide my steps so that I may align my business with your purpose. Grant me discernment to identify and address the root causes of these negative patterns. Fill my heart with hope, knowing that your plans for my businesses are filled with success and abundance. I come before you, Lord, revealing and telling you, showing you all the patterns that comes with working diligently like an elephant, but reaping profit like an ant in my business. Proverbs 21 verse 5 tells us that the plans of the diligent lead to profit. Lord, I bring this scripture before you, seeking you, Lord, and your intervention. I surrender my efforts and frustrations. I work tirelessly, yet the results do not reflect the efforts I have put in. Grant me the wisdom to discern the right strategies and the diligence to execute them effectively. Help me to work smartly in alignment with your divine wisdom so that my labor may yield fruitful results. Lord, I trust in your divine timing and provisions. Open my eyes to opportunities and creative solutions that I may not have seen before. Strengthen my faith to persevere through this challenge in time, knowing that you are with me, guiding my steps. I declare your promises of abundance and prosperity over my business, as stated in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I declare that this negative pattern is broken and my business experience a season of growth and profits that glorifies your name in the name of Jesus. I also come before you with a lack of sales that seem to be a pattern that is repeating itself. Your word in Matthew 18, 18 reminds me of the power of binding and losing. And so today I stand on this scripture, seeking your divine intervention in the name of Jesus. I bind the negative forces that hinder the sales in my business. I bind the spirit of stagnation, doubt and discouragement. I release supernatural power to break through the barriers preventing sales and abundance. Lord, I ask for your guidance to present my products in a way that attracts customers and compels them to purchase. Grant me discernment to understand the needs and desires of my customers. Empower me to make strategic decisions that align with your will and bring prosperity to my business. I declare that my business is loose from the bondage of low and slow sales and lack. I trust in your provision and divine connections to bring forth a season of fruitful sales and financial growth. I surrender my concerns to your capable hands, trusting that you are working behind the scenes to turn the situation around for my good and your glory. Thank you for your word, which is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. As I trust in your promises and the power to break the negative patterns in you, my business, I declare that no longer shall be any weapon formed against me that will prosper and that your plans for my business will come to fruition. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The rise in divorce rates have become so noticeable in this era. However, it is evident from the Bible that God strongly disapproves of divorce. The enemy's agenda includes causing more families to break apart, prevent getting caught in this destructive pattern of divorce that the enemy is promoting in today's world. You can utter this prayer with me as we say it with faith. Dear Father, you created the sacred union of marriage. It said in your word according to Matthew 19 verse 6, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. I recognize that you intend marriage to be a holy and special partnership, and I ask for your help to preserve and strengthen the bonds of marriage. 
Please grant me the wisdom and patience to nurture a healthy and lasting marriage. I pray for my relationship with my partner, that your love and grace may overcome the challenges I face. Please guide me in making wise choices and honoring the sacred covenant of marriage. Dear Lord, in Malachi 2 verse 16, you stated your hatred for divorce. I acknowledge your disdain for divorce and I ask for your grace to preserve and strengthen the institution of my marriage. Please grant me the wisdom, understanding and love to nurture a lasting and healthy marital relationship. Help me to honor the sacred covenant of marriage and to seek reconciliation in different times. Help me guard my heart and renew my commitment to my spouse. Faithful Father, I acknowledge your command to remain faithful in marriage and to seek reconciliation as you have commanded. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10 and 11, Lord, I understand the importance of your command to maintain the sanctity of marriage. I ask for your wisdom and patience to cultivate a strong and enduring partnership in marriage. Assist me in respecting the sacred commitment of it and pursuing reconciliation even when faced with difficulties. Lord, I recognize that divorce was never your original intention, but was permitted due to human weakness. According to Matthew 19 verse 8, I understand your design for marriage was for it to be lasting and harmonious. Help my partner and I to follow your original intention for marriage, which is reflected in the unity and love between Christ and the church. I pray that you strengthen our heart and help us align our lives with your divine intention for lasting loving marriages. Father, I believe that my partner and I were joined together by your divine plan and nothing shall separate us. In your word, as written in Mark 10, 9. I grasp your purpose for marriage as an inseparable connection and I look to you for wisdom and grace to help me build an enduring and peaceful marital union. May your divine purpose for marriage be fulfilled in my life and may no one come between what you have joined together. According to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, Dear Lord, help us remember the importance of deep love in our marriage. May the love between my partner and I be so profound that it covers over any shortcomings, mistakes or sins, creating a safe space for forgiveness and reconciliation. Lord, I comprehend the significance of love within marriage and I implore your guidance and grace to assist us in fostering a compassionate and long-lasting marital bond. May your love be a shield against the trials and obstacles we encounter, promoting deeper understanding and unity in our marriage. As it is in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. And so, dear Father, I comprehend the power that comes from unity within marriage. I pray that you strengthen the union between my partner and I by being the third strand in our marriage. Let your presence be the third strand in our marriage that ties us together, making a strong and unbreakable bond and guarding us against division and divorce. Help us to overcome the challenges that will lead to divorce. As you made it known in Malachi 2 verse 15, Father, I recognize that our union is a divine one and you desire godly children from our marriage. Lord, I comprehend your wish for harmony within marriage and the significance of remaining loyal. I commit to guarding my heart and remaining loyal to my spouse, preserving our marriage for your divine purposes. May your purpose for marriage be realized in my life and may I uphold the promise I made. Mighty Father, teach my spouse and I to love with love described in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7. 
that says, may we practice patience, kindness, and forgiveness. In our marriage, may we cast away jealousy, pride, and selfishness. Help us love unconditionally and endure through every circumstance. Lord, I understand the power of love within a marriage and the qualities it embodies. Help me to embody these qualities in my marriage. And in the name of Jesus Almighty, Father, you instructed in Ephesians 5 verse 33 to love and respect one another in marriage. I pray that these virtues become the foundation of our marriage, guarding us against division. May love and respect strengthen the bonds between my spouse and I. Help us to build a strong foundation of love and respect that will guard our marriage against the forces of division. Father, help my spouse and I to understand the seriousness of the commitment we made in marriage in Matthew 5.32. May we seek reconciliation and forgiveness rather than hastily resorting to divorce. Protect us from any actions or decisions that may lead to sin and division. As in your word in Proverbs 4 verse 23 say, guard your heart above all else. I pray, O Lord, that you help us guard our hearts and protect our marriage from negative influences, emotional wounds and external temptations that can lead to divorce. May our hearts be filled with love, forgiveness and understanding. Help us clothe ourselves with love. I pray, gracious Father, for the wisdom to see children as a gift from you, a reward according to Psalm 127 verses 3 and 5. Help my spouse and I to cherish this blessing and work together as a unified family, guarding our marriage to provide a stable and loving environment for our children. Father, I seek loyalty and kindness in my marriage in line with your instructions in Proverbs 3, verses 3 to 4. May we cherish these qualities and treasure them in our heart so we may find favor with you and with one another, working to build a good reputation as a couple committed to love and unity. May my marriage be a testimony to your love and faithfulness. I entrust this desire to your loving hands, trusting in your divine plan for my marriage. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. In the Bible, there are various accounts of individuals who experienced death but were subsequently brought back to life. There was a specific king mentioned who was facing the prospect of death due to his illness. But when he prayed to God, God extended his life. All of these instances serve as evidence that God desires for us to have a long life and fulfilling one of that and to unite with him are the appropriate moment. Premature death is not what God has planned for believers. You can use this prayer to intercede against such unfortunate events. So let's pray. Mighty God, I come in the name of Jesus. As I boldly declare your promise for a long and satisfying life, according to Psalm 91 verse 16, which says, With long life you will satisfy me and show me your salvation. I trust in your promise to grant long life and satisfaction to those who seek refuge in you. I ask for your divine protection and guidance, guarding us from accidents, illnesses or any circumstances that may cut my life short. I find safety, shelter and peace under your wings. May your salvation be evident in my life, keeping me safe from harm and the fear of premature death. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, I break every hold of the spirit of death over my life and my loved ones. I claim your blessing of long life. I declare your promise of extended life for your word in Isaiah 65 verse 22 says, No more shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not feel out his days. For the young man shall die a hundred years old. I trust in your promise 
that your children should not labor in vain or experience calamity and their descendants will be blessed. I seek your divine satisfaction to ensure the safety of myself and my dear ones, shielding us over and away from any circumstance that could endanger our lives. May your blessings and favor be upon us and may we live a long life fruitful and blessed one i place my trust in your unfailing love and the fulfillment of this promise mighty father i declare this truth from your word that i shall not die prematurely but i shall live to recount your deeds according to psalm 118 verse 17 i seek your divine care and direction to shield me from any situation that could pose a threat to my well-being May I live a long and purposeful life, bearing witness to your mighty deeds and sharing your goodness with others. I place my trust in your unfailing love and the assurance of this promise. Merciful Father, I claim your promise of protection from sickness and a full number of days. The Bible says in Exodus 23 verse 26, You, Lord, will fulfill the number of my days. I trust in your divine promise to fulfill the number of my days and I ask for your protection and healing against any illness that threatens my life or the lives of my loved ones. Please grant us health, strength and a resilient immune system to wade off diseases because of the blood of Jesus. May your healing touch be upon us and may you keep us safe from the dangers of premature death by illness. I thank you Lord. For you have delivered my soul from the grasp of death. Psalm 56 verse 13 says, For you have delivered my soul from death. I trust that you will keep me from falling into the grasp of death. Lord, I trust your promise to deliver my soul from death and to prevent me from stumbling. Guard me against enemies harm that might bring my life to an untimely conclusion. Grant me the gift of a long and purposeful life so that I may walk before you in the light of life. I place my faith in your unfailing love and the fulfillment of this promise. I find comfort in Psalm 121 verse 8. Was you watching me over your coming and going? I trust in your watchful care over every aspect of my life, including my coming and going. I ask for your divine intervention to keep me safe from accidents and dangers that may cut my life short. Please guide me on paths of safety and protect me from any harm that may befall me. I rely on your loving presence to shield me from the unexpected perils of life. May your grace be with me, keeping me from harm and ensuring long and fulfilling and purposeful life. Jesus, I speak from your word in Psalm 116 verse 8, which says, For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I praise your name, O Lord, for delivering my soul from the grip of death. You have shielded my eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. You are my protector against death. Lord, I entrust my life into your hands and I ask for your divine protection. Guard me against the threat of premature death and keep me safe from harm. I pray that you deliver me from any danger that may lock in my path. Shield me from accidents, illnesses or any other circumstances that might cut my life short. I trust in your love and faithfulness to keep me from stumbling and to sustain me. May your grace and protection be with me throughout my days. Heavenly Father, your word in Isaiah 46 verse 4 says, Even to your old age I am he, and to gray hairs I will carry you. And I will bear, I will carry and will save. Reassures me, Lord, that even in old age and gray hairs, you are the same. Thank you, Father, for the assurance that you will carry me, for you have made me and you will bear me. I embrace your protection and care. I entrust my life into your love and care, knowing that you are the sustainer of my days. Please guard me from any harm, danger or premature death that may threaten my life. I find my refuge in your unwavering love and faithfulness. 
May you carry me through life's challenges and sustain me with your grace. Protect me from stumbling or facing early death and grant me the gift of a long and purposeful life. Compassionate Father, who hears and answers, I approach your throne with confidence according to 1 John 5 verses 14 to 18. Lord, I approach you with confidence knowing that if I seek protection and preservation of life according to your will, trust in your perfect will and your ability to safeguard us. May I live in an alignment with your purpose and may you hear and grant our prayers for protection against premature death. I stand firm in our faith, believing that your divine protection surrounds me and that your purpose for my life will be fulfilled. I embrace the promise of life and abundance knowing that you came to give me more abundantly and that no force can cut short the life you have planned for me. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus I pray. Amen. The role of the firstborn is a position taken very seriously by God. The firstborn carries the weight of responsibility to set a positive example for others to emulate. The adversary constantly seeks to divert you from the right path as he did with Adam, but failed with Christ. As a firstborn, you can use this prayer to stand strong just as Christ did and serve as a role model for others to follow. So let's pray this prayer to fight the fight of faith with you as a firstborn, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in Exodus 13 verse 2, I recognize your command to consecrate the firstborns, which says, dedicate to me every firstborn. The first offspring to be born belongs to me. I fervently ask that you consecrate me for a holy and purposeful life, setting me apart as vessel of your grace and love that aligns with your divine plan. Dear Lord, I stand firm on your promise. In Exodus 13 verse 15, where you redeem the firstborn of Israel with a mighty hand, and I plead for your powerful hand of redemption to be upon me, delivering me from spiritual bondage, darkness, or oppression that may attempt to hinder my journey. I pray also for spiritual redemption shield from the influence of the enemy and grant me spiritual freedom. Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 18 declare the preeminence of Jesus who is the firstborn over all creation. And so gracious Father, I invoke this preeminence over everyone acknowledging Jesus as their Lord and Savior and I say may they grow in wisdom, grace and spiritual understanding. I declare your Lordship over myself that I may be firmly rooted in faith, understanding your preeminence in all things. Romans 8.29 reveals your divine purpose to conform me to the image of your Son. For you, God, knew your people in advance and you chose them to become like your Son so that your Son will be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. I plead that you mold me into the likeness of Christ, guiding my steps and refining my character according to your divine blueprint. I pray that I may be transformed, growing in wisdom and grace. Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12 say, For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your food on a stone. And mighty Father, I claim your promise of angelic protection in the name of Jesus. As I summon your angelic host to guard me from every attack or scheme of the enemy, keeping me safe and secure under their protective wings. Dear Father, Psalm 105 verses 37 to 45 say, Recount your provision in the wilderness for the Israelites. I petition your divine provision over me, ensuring I never lack any essential need physically, emotionally and spiritually. Deuteronomy 21 verses 15 to 17 outline the rights of the firstborn. I pray that I may receive the honor and recognition I merit. 
and that your divine plans unfolds for my life. I ask that I may receive the inheritance I deserve according to your divine design. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 urge me to trust in you with all my heart and I beseech for unwavering faith and absolute truth in your guidance for me. May I lean not on my own understanding but acknowledge you in all my ways so that you direct my path. Isaiah 40 verse 31 promises strength to those who wait on you. I invoke your strength and endurance over me, enabling me to rise on wings as eagles, run without weariness and walk without fainting in the face of spiritual challenges. Lord, Ephesians 1.11 reassures me of your predestined purpose. I trust in your divine plan and purpose for me. I pray for your guidance, protection and blessings upon me. I pray that I may grasp your divine purpose you have predestined for my life, walk confidently in it and radiate your glory. Help me to fulfill my unique calling and purpose in your life according to your divine will. Grant me wisdom, strength and understanding as I navigate my journey. May your favor be with me and may I be a testament to your grace and love. According to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, I proclaim to myself that I am a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation and a person of your own possession. I declare that I have been called out of darkness into your marvelous light and I stand guard against any attempt by the enemy to obscure this light. And dear Lord, Psalm 25 verses 4 and 5 plead for my guidance and teachability. I entreat you to lead me in your truth and teach me your ways. Grant me a heart eager to learn and grow in the knowledge of your word. Proverbs 16.3 encourages me to commit my plans to you. Father, I seek your guidance and anointing over my plans and aspirations, asking you to establish my steps. Jeremiah 29.11 assures me of your plans to prosper and not to harm. I rest on this promise, trusting that your plans for me are for future filled with hope, success and spiritual growth. As your word is a lamp unto my feet, according to Psalm 119 verse 105, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for your guidance and illumination to light the path of the firstborn, that I may clearly discern your way, your truth and your life. I invoke your presence and protection over myself, in line with your promise of a protection in Psalm 120. 1 verses 7 and 8 believing that you will guard me from all evil and keep my soul safe second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 reminds me of the spirit you've given unto me a spirit of power love and self-discipline i pray for that i walk in the fullness of this spirit demonstrating power love and self-control in my life Genesis 25 verses 29 to 34 talk about how Esau took his birthright for granted. I pray for discernment that I may recognize the value of my spiritual birthright in Christ and not exchange it for temporary worldly desires. May I hold my spiritual inheritance in high regard and not despise it. I declare that wisdom as personified in Proverbs 8 verses 22 to 24 was brought forth as the first of God's works. I pray for myself to seek and embrace the wisdom of God in my life, making wise choices and decisions. Heavenly Father, I commit myself to your care and protection, thanking you that your grace and love will surround me, shielding me from harm and empowering me to live according to your divine plan. Thank you as I walk in your purpose, love and strength all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Were you blessed? Please share with someone else that you know really needs this. And do well to subscribe to our channel. God bless you.